how to pray the Lord's Prayer. Hello everyone, before we start, let us first pray to the Holy Spirit and ask for grace of discernment. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Come Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit fill, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, o God, who by the who light, by the light of the Holy Spirit, Spirit did, instruct did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy His consolations. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Jesus said, Peace to you, hierarchs. Ecclesiastical Hierarchy why did you change the prayer of our Father that I taught my disciples? Changing the word steps for trespass and debtors for trespass against us are manipulating and distorting God's plans. The prayer of our Father that you are praying today is not the same which I taught to my disciples when they told me, Master, teach us how to pray, and I did. See? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. My flocks. The words debts and debtors cover not only your personal and spiritual debts, but also debts of your ancestors and deceased. When you say, Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, hint at personal offenses, ignoring our intergenerational line, I mean, die defunct and ancestors. In the Our Father prayer that I taught my disciples is manifested mercy, love, forgiveness, and protection of God the Father to His children. The Our Father prayer as my Father taught me to be given to His children has liberation's power for your souls, your deceased families, and your ancestors if you pray it with faith. It is exorcism prayer that frees you from the attacks of evil one and protects you from his snares. It is also prayer life and nourishment for your spirit. It is prayer of provision not only for corporal food, but the most important, the spiritual food that I am. Hierarchs of my church, shepherds of my flock, I ask from my heart to come back to pray the Our Father, as my Father has taught me, because as you are praying and teaching it to my flock, it does not have the same value and spiritual power. To change the word steps for trespasses and debtors for trespass against us is to lose the merciful and liberating action of the Father to his children here on earth and for the souls of her forefathers, and departed into eternity. The Our Father Prayer With the Creed and Magnificat are powerful prayers, and gather the whole plan of salvation that my Father has destined for humankind. Brothers and sisters, I now invite you. Let us pray together the Our Father the way Jesus taught his disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, give this, us day this day our daily bread, bread, bread and, forgive and forgive us our debts as we, as we forgive our debtors. Our debtors. And, lead and lead us not into, into temptation, temptation, but deliver but us from evil. evil. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
Another day, another night. To the most holy Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, be glory, praise, and thanksgiving now and forever. Amen. Before you go, you might want to watch Father Orbo's video. He's going to talk about four things to remember in life. And brothers and sisters, Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for the support. Let's grow together spiritually. Four things to remember in life, okay? Parang hindi ka masyadong gulong-gulo. Number one, remember this. Money can be earned. Pera lang yan. Kayang makuha yan. Don't burden yourself with money. It's not the most important thing in your life, please. Number two, Stupid quarrels can be resolved. In quarrel, quarrel na yan, ayusin mo na. Now na. Pag pinatagal mo pa yan, bubuhati mo yan the rest of your life hanggang sa libingan. What for? Useless luggage. Humility. Humility is the key. Number three, the life of a loved one is irreplaceable. You can say anything you want. Marami kang tampo, galit. Pero pag nawala na yung loved one mo niyan, wala na. That's it. So no regrets that you did your best, you went out of your way for your loved one. And number four, the loss of your soul is your greatest failure. You can have, have everything, but if you lose your soul in the end, what for? You're a failure. So my dear friends, keep this in mind as you journey through life. Maligaya, magaan na paglalakbay. Meaningful journey to God's heart. Money can be earned, stupid quarrels can be resolved. The life of a loved one is irreplaceable. And the loss of your soul is your greatest failure. What does it profit a man? You gain the whole world and you lose your soul. God bless you and Mama Mary loves you.